Is. Your bed is actually all the way down there. Look how caved in. Look, look. Your mattress, your mattress is literally on the floor almost. Nah, it's like, it's like. I need to get to your bed. <laughs> it's not good at all. All right, what's going on, guys? So we are heading up to IKEA right now. We have to get something for my room. Um, my bed has been breaking. So I need to get a new bed frame, essentially. Um, the bed frame, I don't know what was wrong with it, but. Um, I don't know if it was like poorly built or something, or maybe I'm just too heavy, but <laughs> <laughs> but like one of the bars, one of the rods holding up the frame of the bed kind of broke off one time. Um, and then ever since then, I'd be getting out of bed or uh, you know rolling around or whatever <laughs> while I'm sleeping and it like breaks off another rod and it's just slowly been getting worse and worse. And essentially like my, my bed is pretty much broken now. It's like sinking in in the middle. So it's really not, the great a great situation so me and Nat are going to um, Ikea right now to hopefully try and find a new bed frame we're gonna hold on to the parts for that and uh, see if there's anything we can do with it like over the summer but for now we're gonna see if we get a new bed and <laughs> and yeah that's that's what we gotta do so it's all good we're gonna check out Ikea real quick first time we're at Ikea or what no not at all no. They have Ikea in uh, California? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Actually such a hard decision. So many different ones. Yeah. And I'm also like, should I just get something off Amazon if I could just get delivered in like a day or two? And that was the kind that you had that just broke. So, so like, do you want to do that again? Probably not. So if I, if I can break metal, is wood going to be better than metal? All right, so I think I'm just going to get this one right here. So I really don't want to spend hundred something dollars on a bed, but the other one's like so broken like I think it at this point I kind of need one so um, That's what I'm gonna do. I think what you want and they're in these boxes which you basically just have to assemble once we get back um, So we picked up the bed bed is in or the bed frame the bed frames in the back right here uh we picked that up we're gonna head back and hopefully like assemble that today um it sucks but you know when we put it together it's all good and uh no more breaking beds in the future okay the 10k college challenge over the summer me and kyle got these we each both got we both got like three of them um because they're like 700 calories each but this is like our little snack to hold us over and then we're making some dinner later tonight oh my it's so Bro, good. I could eat two of these ones. Mm -hmm. I want three of them. <laughs> now comes the fun part. We gotta disassemble the, disassemble the old one, put together a new one, and hopefully uh, we could do this before dinner. It's 4.53 right now. Natalie on uh, this is, dis not disassemble duty enough. over here. I was not strong enough to do it. <laughs> So that ended up taking way longer than necessary. It is already 9.36 right now, 9.36 p.m. That took us way freaking longer than expected. We had to take the whole like railings off the stairs, going downstairs. I had to unscrew all the railings, take them downstairs because the old bed wouldn't fit down the stairs. So that was a whole process. And then we got the whole bed set up here. We're all good. We're looking good here and uh yeah it looks nice so and uh we have squat bench tomorrow i think i'm gonna go for 585 pounds tomorrow for the first time in a long time i've really been trying to get back to it and the quads have been feeling a lot better knees have been feeling better and uh i think it's going to happen tomorrow so um and if i get that if i get 585 pounds then that means that's like that's like a good sign that this like both the strength is coming back and I'm feeling better like health wise with my knees, my back. Um, so we're gonna see what we can do tomorrow, push around some weight and uh, hopefully it's a good workout. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, let's crush this workout first training day of the week. So we'll see you guys there. 
the next day. So we got a beautiful day outside in Ohio. Today it is like 63 degrees. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees for the next like three, four days already, which is like super nice because it's still only March. So it's like half the time it's still like 30 degrees by this point. But um, feels nice, really good day outside. We're hitting the gym. It's Monday, first training day of the week. So we're doing um, squat and bench today. Things are heating up, like I said. So we're doing like a top single. Then we're doing like a top set of four. And then we have back off work for squat and bench. So it's gonna be a long workout today. We're taking probably about one and a half scoops of the BPN flavor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dry scoop, like a, a heaping scoop of, of flight right now. One big scoop of flight today. Um, so let's go in there. I think Johan's already in there. Um, so he's doing squat bench today too. So it'll be a good workout, man. Johan's still ranked, I think, like number three in the nation or something like that for his weight class in collegiate. So he's, he's gonna be competitive. I'm trying to be competitive at this meet. It's okay. good. <laughs> Get your back. Okay. Flu season. I'm sick, got you sneezing to keep on rhyming, I find new reasons. Yeah, don't diss me, that's treason. Me and my Eve just trying to find Eden. Till then, we keep rolling up trees. Young Dante keeps slaying these demons. Mad love for all of my heathens. Uh, switching the flow like Cheerio, here we go. We keep the heads moving around, merry go. Fire in my heart, fucking with the fam, very cold. You niggas artificial, cherry coke. Throw your hands in the sky, every girl, every bloke. I'm a king, I'm a dawn, on a rock, I'm a toe. Tune into a motherfucking prince when I croak. Drinking champagne, bumping prince on a boat. Wild out, looking for the boy, but I'm miles out. Finding myself in a hideout, in a dark space, I'ma climb out. Right now, wild out, looking for the boy, but I'm miles out. Finding myself in a hideout, in a dark space, but I'm climb out. Right now, I feel alive. Season. Go to hell, I'm through pleasing. Yeah. Niggas can't see I transform and try to hit me with that Louis Stevens. I'm about to get mean and new mean and mouth shut, he freezing. He missed a bean and then for that screen, I've been scheming. Need it in all black when you see him. This is that. Wipe your ass up and get to that bag today. Y'all better not play with my cash today. I pop up like dynamite. I won't apologize If you ain't got my check with them run to say You don't wanna see me wild out Looking for hey. the boy but I'm miles out Finding myself in a hideout In a dark space I'ma climb out Right now, wild out Looking for the boy but I'm miles out Finding myself in a hideout In a dark space but I'm climbing Right now. I feel alive Alive I have arrived All right, so just got back from the gym. Pretty solid day at the gym, but we decided to cook up some steaks, some sweet potatoes. Just have like a little bit of a special night. Everyone's been cooking down here. I'm gonna show you guys the final product. I ran upstairs to grab my camera again, but I'm gonna show you guys the final product. These steaks. <laughs> he's, he's gonna, he's gonna take. He's gonna take the entire Ryan cooked everything. Fries. I cooked everything, guys. Ryan cooked it. I All right, so I cooked shit. I cooked steaks tonight. Like I had, I cooked. We five. have to ask him though. How did you cook it though? And he'd be like, uh. uh so it's backwards called sear. It's called reverse. Sear. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Picked up grocery. I should have done a grocery haul. That's okay. We did um, a ribeye. It's like an organic ribeye. <laughs> we can't with you. He's just obsessed with grass fed. That's all. Grass fed. That's what it comes down to. Man, like you're just fun to listen to. <laughs> just enjoy. <laughs> anyway, so we have ourselves, uh, me and Steve made up some 
sweet potatoes. We just got those open, put some butter and some cinnamon inside. Absolutely amazing. This looks insane. We're gonna have this. Um, and then yeah, we'll probably have some green beans as well, which we just air fried up. See, you, you got them out of the air fryer? They're over there in the air fryer. Air fryer. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, so we got green beans cooking up right now in the air fryer. We made a quick Moscow mule, so we did a little Tito's with a little bit of some ginger beer in there. And uh, we're all having a little Moscow mule tonight celebrating because we are, what, literally like four weeks out now at this point from competition. Because you're having alcohol when you're four weeks out. We're celebrating four <laughs> weeks out with a little drink, okay? So this is gonna be an insane meal. I'll show you guys the final product when it's all done, but four weeks to go, baby. We're eating good tonight, man. Yeah. Real good. Oh, real good. Uh, I'm over here, man. Dude, I'm under pressure. Just, okay, I can't, I can't let's see. Let's see. Plate, so. oh. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Come on, show me some here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You need one of those like oh. belt knife sharpeners, you know? Like, dude, I know, I know. Restaurants. Dude, those, those knives dude I didn't even sharpen this knife. It's sick, bro. It looks insane. <laughs> you good, man? No. Well, at least your back's not broken. Oh, yeah. Sucks for you. Let's see it. Oh, wow, yeah. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plates and screws, baby. It's not good. I'm a cyborg. And that is the meal. Sweet potato. We got a 10 ounce ribeye steak and we have some green beans in the air fryer. A little Moscow mule on the side. Cut that, there we go. Bro, I just do not know why they be so much marijuana. Good man. Like, mm -hmm. That's real good. It's like a nice, a nice medium, medium rare. Oh, actually, yours look really good too. Uh, they're all cooked like the same. Mm. Mine's like probably a little bit more done than yours, so but yours, the one you got, right? it's top, okay. man. Wait, no, it's really good. All right, so 585 pounds. Finally, we are back to it. So it has been a few months now. So the competition I last did was December 12th. It's March now, so it's been like what? three months basically since competition um and i'm finally back to 585 pounds i hit 612 pounds in competition last time and since then have you know basically been having issues with my back my quads an extremely good sign for me that like my quads are feeling better i'm feeling stronger again my back is holding up because within the past three months i've had a lot of i've had a lot of squat days where i walk out with the weight and my lower back just hurts feels like i can't support the weight and i think that was from obviously that conventional deadlift kind of issue that I had right before the meet um, where I kind of tweaked my back a little bit. Um, so things are feeling a lot better. So I'm excited to see within the next four to five weeks here um, how everything progresses because um, this is the best it's felt in a while. I was feeling a little bit like I wasn't sure how this competition was going to go because um, you know it is collegiate nationals, it is a big meet so I'm trying to obviously perform at, at the top of my ability but I wasn't sure I was gonna go if my quads were hurting, I could hardly squat, I couldn't support the weight on my back because my lower back was hurting, um, if conventional wasn't going well because my lower back was hurting and sumo was not going so well but all these things are like starting to come back together. Um, so it feels really good to see those things come back together. 545 pounds for four was moving at like an RPE seven to eight today. Like I could have repped that out for a couple more. Um, so things are feeling really good. Um, prioritizing recovery and rehab and everything right now. So I'm gonna show you guys like a little rehab video, what I've been doing for my, my quads, my knees, my back, what I've been doing to kind of keep myself healthy, up in the calories, still up in the calories. I was 226 pounds last night the top of my weight class is 231 pounds. So that's the highest we can go. I still have some pounds that I can gain here, uh, which is good because upping the calories is only gonna help the strength. So, uh, you know, we're getting close to the end here and I'm really happy that things are kind of starting to, to come together finally because I was, I was kind of losing a little bit of confidence um, and now I feel like I'm, I'm figuring it back out and uh, gaining some momentum again. You know, I'm gaining some momentum again. Squats are feeling better. We might be switching over to sumo deadlifts. I'm gonna show you guys my deadlift workout next week and film that, see how that goes. And uh, if it's feeling good, if the back is feeling good, if the strength is feeling good with sumo, we might have to switch over to that, like I mentioned in the last video. Um, but, you know, we're coming down to the last couple weeks here and we're gonna see what you put together. Now that everything's feeling good, maybe next squat session go for like, 605 or something like that start pushing the weights up a little bit more as long as there's no pain and stuff like that That's that's the biggest thing we want to keep the pain minimal 
Um, you guys know I've been dealing with quad tendonitis for a while and stuff like that. So the whole goal and the whole idea is to be able to push myself with weights, but to a point that doesn't cause a lot of pain. So if anything, we're keeping the pain minimal. Pain isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you want to keep that pain minimal because you're only doing more damage if you're if you're making it very painful every time. Um, but we're still trying to push ourselves. So um, we got a lot of work to do. We have a couple more weeks left here, and uh, I think things are really going to come together. So I hope you guys, you know, stick with me the next couple weeks before this competition. So um, Louisiana State. LSU. Why say Louisiana State? Does anyone say that? LSU? I don't know. <laughs> LSU Collegiate Nationals coming up in a couple weeks. And I feel a lot better. Feeling a lot better now than I did like just a month ago. So I'm excited for it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Things are coming together nicely. So um, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. I'm trying to pump out like two to three videos per week. Just get the content like rolling, flowing. I was writing down all kinds of video ideas today that I want to do before the series ends. And I have a lot of things that I do want to do. So let's get this thing going. Let's finish up the series strong. Finish up the prep strong. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Money, power, respect, eating breakfast on a jet. Yeah. We got cash again, carrots hanging from my neck. It's lit. Money, power, respect, quit.